Both of these students have jobs, they study, they carry a full IB load, and they volunteer their time to the community. Can you tell which student spent three hours on Facebook last night? So how important do you think it was that Ava Peron was married to Juan Peron? Do you think he could have stayed in power without her? Yes, but how important was that to the amount of sheep on the Falkland Islands? Mr. Gage, how does that make you feel? How do you know Mao wasn't married to Ava Peron? Or is Ava Perón truly a woman? Or did Stalin just kill her like his fourth wife? Okay, and then what about um, the concept of the U.S., for example, poking their noses in everybody else's business? So I think Mr. Nick Fruta Boy has a comment on that. So like we talk about well we talk about saving other people and uh, yeah, using our medicine or technology to save others. But yeah, when we bring something to their village, um, we actually kind of destroy their village. We talk about we can know this from a psychological standpoint of upward comparison theory where we compare to those above us and we become unhappy with that because we see others having more. But that one person was able to go get knowledge and use it to benefit the whole community. That person might have thought he was crazy because they weren't familiar with the idea, but in the end they're like, oh, this is a great thing, we should all work together to accomplish like, creating our own energy. But then we look at, is there a way of living that is better? Is there a life that is more fulfilled? Because what if, some per what if someone enjoys not having knowledge and enjoys their traditional beliefs but that we well, may not yeah, view as right. scientifically correct? We're talking about psychology, you know, the more options you have, the less happiness, you know, there seems to be some kind of correlation. When you have more choices, because if everyone, if one guy gets a phone, you know, that can be used towards benefiting the community, but not everyone will be able to get a phone. So the more choices, the more options you have, you know, the less opportunity there is for happiness. Okay, but it doesn't have to be a phone. It doesn't have to be electronic. Right. Like, like, if it was medicine. Like, it was medicine. And if the community really didn't want that, they would say, hey, we don't want this, and People are going to intrude and say, we're going to give you this whether you like it or not. Well, we can see this in Africa today. When a group gets medicine in Africa, they might steal it from Red Cross organization, and they might go and buy guns, they might sell it to buy guns, and they might try to take it and use it for a power source. But so, no, that's not to say that every single tribe in Africa is going to do that, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have but, to... But if we do it to some of them, is that bad? I mean, so should we cut them off because we, like, for the sake of equality? Yeah. Like, oh, so... You guys are doing something wrong, so you get nothing, all of you get and then, nothing. And then Is it comes right? to our own ethics. We say that we should save a life if we have the opportunity or ability. But then if we look at it, if we save a life of a child that was going to die, are we kind of, if you look at like the butterfly effect, are we kind of 
messing then their whole way of life and their system. If we're but if they didn't really culture. want you to save them, so to speak, then they wouldn't ask you to, or they would say, we don't well, want this. Did they, did that they they yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, if, if there's a community yeah. asking for assistance, that's one thing. But I think he's just talking about generally in the big picture. We can't go, and I think we like to think in our minds that we want to go and intervene with every other society that has what we feel less than us. Which is he saying, you know, like, TOK, okay, is, that, is that really ethical? Is that okay for us to do that just because that's how we see it? Well, then you need to bring into consideration, too, if you're bringing in all these medicines and technologies, who's receiving these? There's only a limited amount that you can bring in any one place. Yeah. How do you determine who receives this advantage? advantage? Well, and then you create that some people are getting them, some people aren't, then you create that gap of, of happiness when you have the choice when some are getting it, some are not. Then why don't you just bring in knowledge? Well, you also have to be able to bring knowledge. in resources. I mean, I guess you could do it either way. You can either bring in just the knowledge, you can bring in just the resources, or you can do a little bit of both. So, like, explain to them, or like, try to help them be able to. Well, that's like the free trade, it's third, trade that we talked about. If it's a third yeah. world country, odds are they're not going to have the resources to come up with the technology on their own. Right. So then, I think you have to adapt to what is available at that country in yeah. that particular country. The idea that we have a better living standards than they do, whereas they've, they've probably been doing this for a very long time and we just have been, we've been doing it our way for a long time and we just want to show and expand our way out into other places. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of the book we're reading in Language Arts, what is it called? Tell it to the women. Yeah, what is it? Tell it to the women. Tell it to the women. Where the two, the two white people, the ones that left, like the first ones that came back, and the ones that are like preaching, they were, yeah, they were originally <coughs> from the village, and they're like completely different, and they like, like hate the primitiveness of the village. So it's kind of like they got taken out of the village, got schooled in Western ways, and now they don't even like value their village at all, and so it's kind of yeah. like weird like we just completely stole their stole their culture yeah. like we like stripped them of their culture yeah. by uh, I think the knowledge even is they say um ignorance is bliss and I think sometimes that could be true. Okay. So what if you found a hundred dollars in the hallway? What what would you do? Wonder why somebody had a hundred dollars. I would be able to take it. <laughs> I would take it, and why would somebody have a hundred dollars? Is there anything that's a little bit more principled than that? Maybe? <clears throat> I have a story on that. You have a story? I have a story. Oh, let's hear it. Okay, so there was a group of college kids who bought a couch from Goodwill, and they opened it up, and it was like $25 or something. They opened up the couch, and they found $40,000 in it. In like, oh, no. Yeah. So they ended up returning it, because the woman who had like donated a couch was like 90 years old, so she ended up giving them all money to split because they did the right thing. Aww. Wow. She was dying though, so. Oh. Wow. Well, she's dead. Yippee. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> say I don't speak loud enough. Oh my god! I can't hear myself think! I wonder what Leonardo DiCaprio is doing right now. I wonder if he's swimming. Hopefully he isn't on a boat. I love Leo. Wow, my hair is red. Like the blood of my enemies. Uh, I really gotta finish this H.I. But first, let me take a selfie. 
confounded Robert E. Lee's military tactics prior to and during the Battle of Gettysburg diminished the Confederates' potential to cripple a Union army into surrendering. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. What a red wheelbarrow! To what extent did the collapse of the Soviet Union contribute to the proliferation of nuclear weapons? Huh, I wonder if anyone else celebrated the Passover last night. You know, I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for genetics. <laughs> Let's start today's discussion by pondering an ancient philosophical question. Why is it that you can't step into the same river twice? I know! <laughs> You go up, and you'll be lawyer, and engineer, and, and everything else. 